Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we are back for another awesome project in my dot SketchUp. So, friends, let's get cracking. Friends, the first step is to type my.sketchup.com or click the link in the description. Or if you're in my classroom, I'll add a link. Or if you're in my classroom, there will be a link in the or if you're in my Google Classroom, there will be an assignment post as well. I want you to click the home button and that lets you create new and we're going to build with feet and inches. Once this opens, let's click the untitled box, click on the SketchUp box and at the bottom type city and put our initials. Move over and hit the save here button. You will see that it says saving. You will see that it says city with your name and then we can click on the lady and delete her. Alrighty friends, I need you to memorize a couple numbers for this next part. When I've seen people struggle is when they try and go back and forth between the movie. The numbers are simple. I'm going to flash them on the screen right here. It's 100, the foot symbol, comma, 80, the foot symbol, and press enter. So now, let me show you how it happens on the screen. Alrighty friends, so as you can see, I've got my mouse on the screen so you can see it as well. We're going to start with the select tool. And then click and notice I release. This is where the finger comes off. Choose the rectangle. Finger comes off the mouse. Click the origin. Once again, that finger comes off. And then here's where you let go of the mouse and then type the numbers. 100, foot symbol, comma, 80, foot symbol, and press enter. It makes that exact shape right there. I'm going to scroll out. You can see I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll out. I'm also going to click on the orbit tool so I can see it from a better angle. I can also choose the pan tool to drag it where I want. These views let us get the exact view for what we're trying to do. Once again, I'm going to click the select tool. Then I'm going to click the measuring tool and choose the dimension tool. Once again, I'm going to click a first point and let go. Move all the way to the origin click and let go and then when I pull the mouse towards me a little bit I can click and make that measurement permanent I'm gonna go up to the top corner click and let go I'm trying to emphasize that finger comes off I go back to the end point click and let go and then I move a little bit out and click and make it permanent that my friends is how you click and release as you're using my dot sketchup this time we're gonna move over and select the push pull tool notice I click and let go click and let go move on top so we can see those dots click and let go we want to make our building 40 feet tall and press enter let's click on view and choose zoom to extents scroll out a little bit make sure we've got our orbit tool which you could use the scroll wheel and just look at our building from every side all right, friends, we've practiced the click and release. Let's try it again. Rectangle tool, move in front of our shape, click and release. And notice that's a normal door. Now instead, you can see I released. I want you to tap control and notice this door goes around that center spot. I don't care how big you make it, but I want you to make it look like an entry for a business and click and make it permanent. At that point, I want you to click on the eraser or press the letter E, that is the shortcut, and we can erase those pieces that were below. So now our door is exactly in the middle. Let's give the door a frame by clicking the push-pull tool and selecting the offset tool. I'm going to click on the center and let go, and then I just want to get that frame so it goes past my door. Once again, we need to use the eraser, and we can zoom in and we're going to erase those little pieces underneath. Remember, you've got to get the dot exactly on the center so that it erases well. All right, friends, we've got that door. Let's add the middle rail. Once again, let's go to the rectangle tool and let's go to that midpoint and click and make sure we tap control so that it switches to the rectangle that goes both ways. I'm going to zoom in so I can make it pretty small. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the extra piece that's down below. Click the eraser and then make sure you delete that bottom part so that it all goes away. 
when you've got yours like that, you can erase this little piece and we can start painting our building. Click your materials. I'm going to just choose a color for the outside of the door. I'm going to use a brown and just fill in that gap. I am going to the brick and cladding for the building. Notice it's a large building so the bricks look a little bigger. Pushing the scroll wheel and rotating so I can see every side. And then I'm going to collapse that group and move down and find the glass. If I collapse the colors, that makes that faster as well. And I'm going to put glass windows right there so we can actually see in our building. All right, friends, let's do something kind of cool with our roof. Switch to your push-pull tool and choose offset. Click up on that roof. Remember, let go. You can see that finger letting go. And move your mouse towards the outside edge. We want to leave a little gap on the outside. I'm not going to give you a special number. Just pick a gap. Then click and release. Choose push-pull and raise it up so that now there is a place for people to stand on the top of your building. Let's paint those pieces as well really quickly. I'm going to go back to my brick and cladding and I'm going to use the same brick along the top. Remember that you push the scroll wheel in so you can orbit and see those other sides. And then I'm going to put a asphalt covering for the top of the roof. Let's real quickly add a window. Once again, we're going to go back to our rectangle tool, select rectangle, and this time I'm going to tell you to click and let it go, and then just type 10 feet, comma, 10 feet, and press enter so that your window looks exactly like that. I'm going to collapse this, collapse my cladding, find my window and put that material in that spot. Let's click on offset again and offset again. Click on the window and stretch it out past so it has a cool border on the outside. Let's switch back to our colors and find a color that you want to put around it. You can pick any color you want. Alright friends, this one's kind of tricky so make sure you follow it closely. Right click on your building and choose hide. Right click on the floor and hide it. Right click on that back wall and choose hide it. So all we did is make it so that the only thing we can really see is that window. Grab all that window, right click, and make it a component. Call it win. And we're going to tell it to cut the opening and we're going to tell it OK. Now over on our panel, click on the glasses and we want to unhide all. Now with your select tool, click on the cool shape you just made and find the move tool. We want to move it from this corner to this side. But are you ready for this? Watch my fingers. We click and let go. See that red line stretching across. Now tap control and instead of moving, it makes a copy. When you click and set it down, it will be permanent and you will instantly have two awesome windows. Make sure you follow that click and let go. Make sure you tap control on the keyboard to enable the copy. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to click on this one. Tap the control so it's in copy mode and put one right beside it. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to hit space bar so I'm in select mode. I'm going to use the M which is the shortcut for move and now when I tap control I have got four awesome windows on my sweet building. Alrighty friends so we have built one cool building we've added some sweet windows and some sweet shapes now your challenge is to make the city make another building add some cool windows notice I made one and I used the cool copy technique to make them show up pretty quick and have fun as you make another awesome building this one you don't have to measure anything this one you did Make sure you always save. If you ever mess something up, use undo. And then when you're finished, remember I need you to export a PNG so you can turn it in. Get your angle so it's just the way you like it. Zoom in, find the coolest view ever. And then when you're done, hit export as PNG. If it gives you the larger image, you can tell it don't do that again. It should automatically save it to your downloads. 
mine I have to put it in the downloads folder city MDH is already named and boom you're ready to turn it into Google Classroom friends remember if you make anything awesome it's super cool if you share it with me I am at HL Montech on Facebook Instagram and Twitter you can also send me an email at HL Montech on Gmail as well or even check out the HL Montech website friends if you found the video useful please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.